freshly completed his PhD from ISEC and then joined ISEC as a faculty member. He served there for more than 30 years. Sir. Uh, yes, he served and then he has guided many PhD scholars. He has completed more than 30 uh, projects and then his specialization is on uh, decentralization. Professor is currently working as the honorary professor, uh, visiting professor to Gulbara. Um, the uh, RDPR University and then he was, a, he was here as a visiting professor last year. We have done many works uh, with him. Recently, we have done one uh, report on um, uh, devolution and performance index for panchayats of Karnataka. It is a very wonderful experience. When I was working with him, he, he had a vast experience in research as well as teaching. Now, he is going to teach you on um, political issues, okay? Political and decentralizing. Okay, sir, now the session is going to Sorry for Late. I was stuck with the director because uh, it was the first time. Actually, we came about 9.30 in the end. We did not uh, want to give the report to him personally. We worked together last year, last two years, <coughs> during Corona. <coughs> it was the day of the war, we were the director, Dr. Sindhu, Dr. Dilwa. We did the work for the Lord of the Department. So what is that report personally to him? That's why I took a photograph. So that was too late for me. Otherwise, uh, I told him I could be there by 10. The ISEC people don't uh, hesitate to go late or come late. Anyway, we are friends from ISEC. We are library of here. I saw so many empty places. Uh, Dr. Sindhu called me last week that uh, I should address you for this research material report. I was a bit little hesitate. Uh, we were told they are from different groups, colleges, uh, research scholars from Karnataka and other states like Maharashtra. No, sir, you should come, come like that. So, I sometimes will be selfish also. Almost uh, six months, I think, we have not visited Dharwad for the project. So we also had an idea of meeting the director. So I thought, let me fix together. I also motivated first Babu to join me so that we move together one day as time. So I said, what is that I should speak for this group? So they all the stories are different things. So I told I am uh, familiar with the empirical research one. So that, on that I will try to share some of my views. And my lecture is not based on PowerPoint. It is there, PowerPoint material is there. Later you can share among those uh, Share the experiences. So I also get some 10 page stories, all the students are there. And a lot of field work we have done. So I'm not going to another parts of the country. So we thought how empirics should be useful to you all. If at all you are wishing to do research in that way. Uh, before we, I interact only, no monologue. I try to involve all. Let me see how it's successful. So, two things are there to begin with. First, I would like to know yourself, know about you. If you don't mind, I will introduce quickly your name and the discipline. Okay, let us start with the girl. No, no need of a partner. <laughs> the name and the discipline. From Kolhapur, Shivaji University. I am pursuing PhD in economic, agriculture economics. Okay. My PhD topic is price trend and forecasting of oil seeds and. I don't know that. Only name and the My name is Jyoti Banke. I am from Shivaji University, Kolhapur, and doing PhD in international economics. 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 I am Rizio, uh, University of Mysore, Economics Department. I am Dr. Ida Kingappa, Assistant Library, University of Political Science in Bangalore. Yes. So, Rizio Kakatra, I am from Bangalore University, PhD in Political Science. Oh, over here, Political Science. I am Political Science. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sir, so, 
Sanmesh Nayak, Karnataka University, Department of Economics, Area of Research, Agriculture Economics. My name is Devra, Research uh, Scholar, Department of Education, Karnataka University. Hello, sir. My name is Pravati Udhikar. I am from Shivaji University, Kolhapur, and my uh, department is Economics. So, oh, many from Kolhapur. Yes. Yes. So, what? Group together. Come here. <laughs> My name is Anand, uh, Department of Geography. Department of Geography, Karnataka University. Geography, Karnataka University. So I am Anand Pojari, and from Karnataka University, Department of Economics. Economics. Yes. 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 I am Yakesh, I am from Bangalore. My area of work is agriculture and agriculture. Which university? Bangalore? No, University of Agriculture Science. Oh. Completed my course. Oh. Sir, so, my name is Rob Patti. I am from Raichur University of Agriculture. Raichur? Raichur University of Agriculture. Raichur University of Agriculture. Raichur University of Agriculture. Science. No topic, only name one. Like some of the topics. I have finished. Your name? Shanta. Shanta. Yes, Shanta. Good. Peace. I am the Department of Political Science. Political Science. Uh, myself, Manjana Pooja. I am pursuing my PhD in the Department of Political Science, Karnataka University. So, myself, Narsin Chitanji. I am from Commerce Department, Karnataka University. Commerce. My name is Mother Karnataka University, Political Science. Political Science. Many are from Political Science. My name is Vyapo Space. I mean, Economics. Training and discussing how to manage the 
multidisciplinary It's a multidisciplinary So now I'll ask the clarification, one clarification. Out of this group, how many are uh, already awarded cases? Social work, library, and universities? Then uh, how many are submitted? Submitted. One to one submitted. And how many are in the different stages of your work? Almost. How many are joined at for that? Committed to do huh? They are committed to do PhD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the beginning. <laughs> Those who want to pursue, those who want to pursue, they have applied the research, something to start the research field work. So now the third task is very important. Besides the request for the maybe for one for electrical economics. Different disciplines I want to know. One from economics, one from political science, one from commerce. No, I want just some four or five titles I want. This is titles. Let's start with IT economics. Your PhD title. If you don't mind, can you write? If you have no objection, to write. Registered? 
three different colors, good? <laughs> Rose and bronze. Knowledge and attitude among secondary school children about water and sanitation or a social class. So I'll read for you all. The first one is impact of the DMA, that is decision making means behavior of form outsource on their social economic security. The next is analytical study of India's foreign trade of the new ethnic problems. Process and problems of demand for separate state focus on Northern Karnataka. Impact of green HRM, that is human resource management. Practices in optimizing environmental sustainability in Karnataka. Knowledge and attitude among secondary school children about what is not. So we have five uh, such titles. One is awarded and the other four are progress. So I want each one of you. Isn't it I want each one of you just to tell us, just in few sentences, what is the empirical component of this title? The title is always very important. Just like you select a boy or a girl, a person. Similar research was so this title is very, very important. It's almost a <coughs> Mirror for your entire taste. Index of the mirror. You can see everything, basic take. You get 250 pages, you can just based on take. So, in my experience, if it is there or not, it's not a publication. 
just to tell us uh, from the impact. Are you there, sir? Or you want this? Mike is there. Mike is there. You can speak to any mic. Just for the benefit of all. It just to do the sentence, what is the critical component of it, right? Actually, you asked me if the wordings is the same. Actually, the wordings was decision. Uh, I wanted to do like in this was the title, impact of decision making beyond farm users. But then it was changed when I was finally submitting uh, because we can't find the impact of decision making. It was said like that. And the actual now the published thesis has decision making behavior and its influence on the socio economic uh, uh, behavior of farm users. That's the present title. It's a good, uh, good uh, stuff for me. <laughs> so he has changed the title. He asked me why change, he changed it. It's modified. Why he changed the title? Ask awesome. The second one is correct. Exactly. I was also not very happy in this title. Yes, sir. So the rest, believe one second, second title. Decision making behavior yes. and its influence on the socio economic characteristics of farm households. Why did it change? Like, uh, we can't find the impact of uh, there was no uh, we can't find the impact of decision as well estimate decision making and then find the impact of it it was somehow not so easy and congenial so they said this is a better one it has its influence uh, what is wrong with this title if it was impact of some program or some other thing that would have been quantified and easily done decision making behavior can be very subjective and because there are two things in research two words one is cause and effect. This only gives cause. What is said influence is an effect. In certain hypothesis by research, the hypothesis based on cause and effect. So decision making, there should be impact. He started with impact decision making. <coughs> but this decision comes first, then the impact comes. Impact in terms of influence, is it? Clear? That's one. But the empirical aspect. Very important. You know what I have got that empirical aspect. The empirical aspect. How you do, why you can't do that. Impact of decision making, I was thinking it as a cause. And uh, social economic uh, it has an effect or impact, but cause was not enough. So empirical. So your social economic is there, no? That is the effect. This is the effect. Yes. That's the empirical part. You have to go to them. You have to go to the farmers. No? Yes. But to understand the impact or influence of that policy on the behavior, the behavior. Yes. Research is behavior of the individual, or community, or family. If I got a particular reason, cause, policy thing. Here we want to study why the data from socio-economic, whether that influence them, their behavior, their attitude, are particular. So there is a major empirical component. As of now, there is no impact, just impact decision making only. But what for? There should be something in should be there. The end part, I think, your second part of the title is the yeah. right to answer. That's one. I'll come back for a second. The second title, analytical. You can switch off. Basically, my study is an analytical study. Here, uh, I will. Uh, That's very clear. You are written analytical only. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, you study study, an analytical study of Indian was <coughs> what you did after the My study basically depends on the secondary data. So I will collect secondary data throughout various uh, uh, government uh, sources like uh, 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 through the RBI and uh, there is one uh, website called uh, uh, Ministry of Government Trade and Finance. If I were to be a bed, I would have put it like this. I have brought this uh, new economic forms first. Sorry, sir. New economic forms first. Then I was thinking an analytical study of India's quality. Right? Bob, correct? Take months. 
that is generated to the particular. In empirical, it's called generated to the particular. The first part of the data should be always general. Analytical version. That's also very difficult to the analytical. Analysis will be there in the thesis. That is analytics. Analysis will be there. So it need not come in the title. It may be different. It's called uh, ah, impact would have been an uh, appropriate word. Detective approach, interview approach is their research. So the title always should be a general to the particular. New education policy. It's a general. An impact of school education for children. Fact. Yes. That is a particular specific. There should be always a corner. Somebody has tried to put it corner. Yes. 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 If you have score for change, you can change. Otherwise, you can go and never let things go. Yes. No problem. <laughs> so, the serious researchers, they think. Yesterday, a proposal came to me for ISEC, postdoctoral fellowship. So, the director sent me for my comments. Yesterday, when he sent me, he said, Take to the student. <coughs> no comma, no full stop, no full So, it's a statement. That is not a title. That means you have not gone into the depth of the subject. You get start from the general, then go to the particular. So this empirical part is difficult here because it's more of international policies. She so may depend more on second data, less on final data. More of reports, reports, all those things will be there. So let's um, find the data. She may not go to the maybe of shares, minister she cannot go. Something like that. So the impact is less only based on significant try to understand the, the impact of reforms on this. Okay. The third is very important. Yes, sir. Uh, my work is basically on uh, primary system, sir. Uh, so I'm making some portion here. No, no, the title is Cause and cons of demand for separate state focus on northern Canada. What is that you are going to do here? Sir, what is that you are going to do? Sir, uh, uh, this is the one of the uh, big issue in the Karnataka. Hmm? Uh, this one is the uh, administratively and politically huge issue at that time. Uh, when I take this. Uh, but who are your respondents here? Uh, my response, uh, respondents, sir. Uh, I am making a three types of questionnaire. Uh, one of the uh, people, uh, citizen of the uh, survival, uh, for uh, revenue design is there. I am taking some sampling set. Every division are two districts. And uh, for no, the my uh, point here is that I don't think that this talk is my to talk to compare yes, yes. separate state of the This is gone now. It's almost gone in the wind. Yes. So now it's, uh, why I am asking is more of emotional. More of emotional demand for state, demand for district, demand for follow, demand for new name, all those things. You are trying to figure out from pros and cons, both <laughs> positives and negatives of demand. But my problem here is that if you just focus on Nana Karnataka, it's very difficult. If you want to interview me in Bangalore, yes. I will oppose it. If you improve uh, uh, Siddhartha, I will oppose it. If you interview Bhardam MLA, Jack Kodi, yes, you want to say. Ramesh Jack Kodi, Satish Jack Kodi, both will say, yes, you want to protest it. Shukumar will ask, no, it is Karnataka. Mandan and Raja Karnataka, how can you solve it? So more of emotion, how do you address this problem? Intricacy in process. Intricacies. Predicaments. Unless you are very clear and strong, at your level only. Okay. Very difficult to collect data and write a thesis. I don't know how you are going to do it. But uh, title is okay, I have no problem. 
just say it's a half paper. There is no second part there. No, you put common. The particle is done there. So general. This is also general demand. This is also general. Because it's not available, data is not available. You depend mainly on people's views, perceptions, attitudes. Unless there is already a movement is there. Guess what? If you are confident of getting data from the sources that I am mentioning, what is it? Anyway, not the best. Third one. Yes, ma'am. The empirical nature of the studied state, like it is the very novel in nature. It is very novel in nature, and uh, in only three districts in India has covered this study in manufacturing sector. So, so I'll be collecting the data from the uh, employees. It's like the green HRM practices in optimizing the environmental sustainability in the country. Let's say part of the impact. You cannot start the title with impact. Impact the result world. Green HR practices, something impact on optimizing, something should be there. Is this a question there? Impact of green HR practices on optimizing on certain Yes, it is there. You say somebody says to But you are studying the green HR practices. Which has an impact yes, on the environment yes. system. So they have to be trusted health to optimize. That's fine. No, I am not worried about the subject here. I am worried about the title which conveys the meaning to others. When it comes to the evaluation, reviewer, you think what is this? Already you have impact. So first should be practices, three HR practices, then you see the impact of these practices on the environment system. That is the way, proper way of reading your proposal. If registered, I have no problem. This is a university or guideline. This is for you to understand. See, as a researcher, you must understand your own problem. Just like you get the data of a boy or a girl. Through internet, through relatives, through friends, you get data. You don't select a boy just like that or a girl. Parents, especially, the correct information about the boy or a girl with so many sources, empirical sources. One second, the title, internet. The first one is popular like that. Similarly, the problem is. So you have to be very clear about the sources of data that you collect. Because you have a mix of uh, secondary data. Secondary the primary data. Primary. No, no. The practices among whom? Sir, among the uh, employees or the companies uh, who uh, are indulged in practicing green human resource management. Which company? Sir, uh, generally the uh, large scale companies are practicing these practices to uh, reduce their employee carbon footprint. So, the, basically the very less number of companies are indulging in these practices. But in the sourcing industries? Yes, manufacturing sector. Whether they are following this HR? Yes, and whether it, uh, the green HR practices are helping them out uh, to retain or to reduce carbon footprint, thereby increasing the environmental system. Okay. Other questions? But uh, I, you just have to understand your problem. First, you have to go to industries, whether they are following their practices, so that it will ensure impact on the sustainability. This one. Last one. Yes, sir. He has completed the work. I do not want to comment anything on that. <laughs> Though I can comment on it. Yes, I would be there. Why should we be there? Yes, sir. For the benefit of students. I don't teach on this one. Uh, regarding uh, a comparative study between the government and private schools uh, with the variables of attitude and uh, knowledge and attitude uh, among with the secondary school children about water and sanitation. 
there are the conditions in the government and private schools are verified through into second. Uh, this is I think same problem is there, but uh, anyways, <laughs> same problem here also. There is uh, the water sanitation comes last year. That's the major actually. It should be major part of your sector. And the, you are going to see the knowledge among children about water sanitation. So in fact, and again, you want to see the their students know, and you want to compare that government and private. If I were to be there, I would have put both government and private in the tech itself. Among government and private school children. So tech is very clear. But that is particular. Among government and private school children. So at least the reader knows he goes to both. If he explains the thesis later, in the methodology may say, I am going to sample the both government and private. But by the way, there is father's story. It can understand by the itself. It's more of a purely empirical story. He has to go to, he would have gone already, <laughs> go to children, go to schools, contact children, their parents. I'm a school going to second remember high school. Why to tell? They know should go to Anil Wadis. Anil say toilets are next to them. Many mm -hmm. toilets, Anil Wadis in Yankee district is there. Toilet is next to the temple. Or next to the temple or something. Anyway, so why I emphasize these five titles? We are going to write rights. Uh, this gives the title is very very important for you. If you are a beginner of the research, you have to be title should be very very clear. Otherwise, you may clear it. I have seen hundreds of theses we have cleared without anything else. <laughs> That's a different story. But as a researcher, you have to know yourself. You have to master of the subject means you should be very clear about your. So if you impact to research, any research, the title looks a very good. The second is this selection of problems. Actually, I'll come later. This after problem, the title comes. But in research, what happens? If, uh, some people try to adjust in methodology, sir, like adjusted uh, private schools. So the problem identification of your research problem. All research questions are very important stuff. What do you select? What do you Next day, no. It's confusion. How to select? How to continue further and further? You have to come with a statement of the problem. What is that you are going to do in the next couple of years? You are going to model the statement of the problem. Shall I run? Abstract, right? This is in the end you put abstract. 
What do you expect? Like in uh, morning, uh, around 9 o'clock, you are born with a tax center, call me. So I send you a brief viral time. That means I have more of that. Brief, abstract is a brief, not called a In that abstract, you come to know what is that you are going to do in the next three years, four years, five years, six years. What is that? So statement will include focus. Focus of your study. She wants to focus on trade, she wants to focus on farmers, she wants to focus on practices, these are state, natural, sanitation. Sanitation focus. Please talk. <laughs> Don't be made more of that. Healing. How about focus on that? English or Kannada? How you should not do it? Because the Maharashtians are there. They speak Kannada. How about focus? You have to focus your problem. What is that focus? Tell me about yours. He seems to be more vocal. <laughs> is there why? Just one or two senses. What is that you want to focus? Why merchandise trade is that much of backward in comparison to service trade? Because uh, uh, if we see the contribution of service trade in the GDP, is a more. Mm -hmm. okay. Since the participation of people into that particular sector is a less. So why this problem occurs? Why our, uh, since if we see from the 1991s, 1991 till the date, there is the same problem that merchandise trade is uh, um, merchandise trade is more as compared to sorry merchandise trade is less as compared to service trade. So you want to do what? Yes, I wanted to focus on that problem. You are a good clerk. It's a focus. This is it will be clear. It may come full. Something wants to tell something about this problem. Otherwise, you can't. Move further. Mm -hmm. So Bob will tell you about some design later. <laughs> How to design. I'm borrowing some of his words here. <laughs> focus, hashtag, focus. The focus is very, very important. He wrote yesterday about a review coming. The focus and that's focus. And the only one statement. The proposal lacks focus to general nature. Then Papa, she wants to post her So then you give it for him. Unless you are clear about your such problem, what is the about the focus? You cannot move further. So once your statement of the problem is very clear to you, the next step is to be around the what you call uh, you call problem tree. Research problem tree. Trees. Tree has? Branches. Then? Then further? Branches. Branches then? Hmm? After branches? Then further some branches. <laughs> Your tree is growing. Once you open your problem, the problem's expansion branches, different perspectives, different stakeholders will emerge. So there are further subbranches out of that. If you say uh, PSC, public center, there are some particulars. So you expand your research. Since you are very particular about the problem, the problem, you expand the research problem from general aspect of PSC, sub-centers, and the bodies like the case. That gives a lot of scope for your research, no? 
there are a lot of branches and sub branches you may get some thirty issues. Thirty statements you may come. Thirty statements and brand new just you may get ten or five hundred. Why I am telling statements is that statements are useful for collecting data for your work. So you are mastering your area from general to the particular. By opening up your statement of the problem through different problems, problems, short problems like that, you expand your scope of your research. I just started with the Indian vehicles, new vector forms. Just a type of vector forms. So if you get into the detail, you will find endless. So you have to build on the let's design. How to build that so design. But for me, next step is on this problem tree, you have to do some review of literature. Unless everybody already must have been told to do review of literature. Why it is important? So, what happens when you start research? You have a problem before the table, what to do? You search. Now it's easy for you to go to Google. Mobile is starting here. During the old days, my goodness, you have to go to library, sitting in the library, whole day. You used to have a, 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 a note card, my set. You used to have this much by the time and now. You used to note down the book, author, everything you did, notes, come back, read it. Now it's easy to open Google and get it down. But you should read books. Library is there. You should read wisdom books, contributions. Otherwise, yes. you may get it in Google. But wisdom books is wisdom. In your Google, many paths are missing. Now they also close some, they give some few pages, not all pages. If you open the book, they give some few pages. The page that you want is missing. That will not happen if you go to the library and open the book. It's available very much. So that's what you have to do. I will give one light story here. You have to do. One student came to me in Bangalore from Bangalore University. So I want to research a public digital system, PDS, relation system. And then the lady said, Yes, you do it. Sorry, no. But nobody has done research on this. <laughs> infinite statements in the universe. Sir, you know, yes, tell me. Nobody has done research on this. I was shocked. First, I can. I can't even ask for that. Yes. 2000. I said, who do it? Sir, no, sir, no, sir. No, sir. Okay, I will accept you. I will give two hours to you. I will request our library to allow you. Can they not allow students? I say, can they use to take out all those things? Permission is to set. Take permission. I will get you permission for two hours. Go sit there, catalog is there, open, it is. Tell me if it is zero, fine. If it is there, you come back to me. Two hours. Two o'clock, she went, she came back for four o'clock, two hours. Sir, you know, mother. So you used to do the name of the research. Sir, how many people have done research, sir? Nothing else, nobody has done, sir. Sir, sorry, sorry, sir, sir. Don't think like that. Don't think like that. Don't think like that. Somewhere, some corner of the world, someone must have done, I'm mad, must be mad, or he or she to be a researcher, pitious. They must have done. So I listed some, she listed some 50 books on PDS, some 50 articles. 
ಏನು ಗುಡ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಸರ್ ನೀವು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಅಂತ ಅವರ ಮಾತು ನೀಡಿದ್ರು ಫಿಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಮಾಡಿದ ಸೊ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಐ ಗೇವ್ ಫೈವ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ರಿವ್ಯೂ ದೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಒನ್ ಮಂತ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಶನಿವಾರ ಕೇಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ So, Indian literature is pretty very on your subject. You must have hold an international, national, state. Nobody will push you. But most of the reverse people for this is reverse teachers is a small component. In the rest of the time. The next step where my topic will come, I am just giving a link to my topic. That is empirical research. So that is with the uh, your data collection. For data collection, three things are very, very important. One is your research question. Then object. Then comes your methodology. in between the three hypotheses also the ideal relative the research question should emanate from your area of literature so research gaps research gaps will come such questions research questions will come objective of hypothesis and for those objectives you evaluate it in the formula the following same pattern of so in the following same the view of the chart this is a this is a, a typical uh, phd step the problem step the problem view of the chart such gaps such questions objectives methodology in the first comes the view of the chart and then the uh, research gap ಏನು ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ಚಾಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಪೆಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಟೀ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫೈ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ವರಿಡ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಕೌಂಟ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ಐ ಸೆಟ್ ನೋ ಚಾಪ್ಟರೇಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಡಿಟ್ ಆ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ದೇಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ objectives three objectives versus chapters so in the end there will be some two three empirical chapters if you are into the empirical research maximum three or four people go but some people are very can miserly they go for two chapters in few main chapters are introduction background this that and all but i will find one two chapters empirical this week this is In empirical thesis, at least four chapters should be empirical. That means it's your four objectives. Or five. Some people, they put introduction is also an objective. Background is also an objective. But there should be more of an empirical component in objectives. Because they help to develop chapters. Because you have to collect data for it. Correct? Yeah. What stage you are? Uh, I am a research assistant, so we have completed two research projects. Uh, one on traditional education and one on Atal Bhuja Yoji. Bhuja Yoji. Related to? Uh, three uh, districts. Okay, gotcha. Yes. Ground, sustainable groundwater management. So you are not doing research, PhD? Uh, no, sir. You are not doing research. your objectives yes hypothesis hypothesis and again for sure but when i'm doing anybody has structured hypothesis yes tell me the hypothesis yes sir my topic is gender development disparities among social groups 
a comparative study of Darwad and Kopal district. Good idea. Sir, my objectives are to provide a holistic view of gender disparities in India and Karnataka. Uh, ex uh, the, to examine the gender disparities in Dharwad and Kopal district among the social groups, to identify the various indicators which influence gender development disparities among the social groups, assess the strength and weaknesses of existing policies and programs which related to gender development disparities. So you have two empirical chapters. Yes, sir. Two empirical chapters. Uh, two. Second and third. Uh, First is more background. India. Uh -huh. Second Overall is among the groups, among First the groups, yes. social groups. Social. Third is also among the social groups. First chapter is on overall. Yes, the diagram chapter. Yes. Second one. Second one is indicators based on indicators. Third. Third. Comparative study among the Dharwad and Kopal. Dharwad and Kopal district. Purely compared. Empirical chapters. The fourth one. Fourth one is assess the strength and weaknesses of existing policies. More of general. Based on these two chapters, you address that chapter. Strengths and weaknesses. Only four objectives. No, five objectives. Fifth is? Fifth is policy. policies and policy. It's standard. <laughs> standard objective. So there is policy recommendations of this. There is standard objective. What are your hypothesis? I have only two hypotheses. Yeah, I don't know. You have to put two hypotheses also. There is no significant difference in the gender development disparities among the social groups of Dharwad and Kopal districts. Uh, there is no significant relationship between the gender development disparities and selected indicators. What is the difference here? Uh, I am going to test the relationship between the gender development disparity and the selected indicators. Okay. For a second. That means there is no difference. There is no difference. Okay. I want to test it. Okay. Uh, there is no significant difference in the gender development disparity among the social groups. Okay. First one is among the social groups, the second one is among no, the individuals. No important individual words here, here, there is no mistake. No sense. No. There are two words. No significant Either differences. Either no or yes. is there. Next paper this is? Only two. Second. Second, second, second. First one is among the social groups mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Dharwad and Kopal districts. Second one? Second one is the no significant relationship between gender development disparities and selected indicators. But you have only one hypothesis then. There is no, no, sir. There first, is no one, hypothesis. first one is there is no significant difference in the gender disparities among the social groups of Dharwad and Kopal districts. Again, you say there is no. Again, there is no, you say that. Second hypothesis, there is no. See, so each should be true. One is no, or is there is? The first one is right now. First one is right the first one. There is no significant difference between gender and among the social groups or proper words. Next should be there is a difference. There is no, no should be not there. Yes, then we will turn null and null. That means you are going to say the end. In the end of the thesis, either there is or there is no. So you should have two hypotheses. That so second one is different again hypothesis. Yeah. That's different, so different hypothesis. hypothesis. Yeah. But for each one you should have one more. One more. Null and alternate hypothesis. Alternate hypothesis I didn't mention. You have to put. Yes. You have to put. Yes. Otherwise uh, it's not complete. There is and there is no. Yes. Two words. In proposal I didn't mention alternative hypothesis. There is no. Each hypothesis should have these two numbers. Because at the end of the thesis, it may be true. There is no difference, but there may be difference. Yes, no. But there is no that the difference. There is, there is, there is a difference. difference. I will say there is a difference. Yes. So you have gone with a very positive attitude. Yes. That there is no difference. But there is, empirically, there is difference. The hypothesis proves or not. There is gender difference among social groups, whether it is Koppal or Thara. Same reason. So, whether to mention the alternative hypothesis is mandatory. Mentioning the alternative hypothesis is mandatory. Yes, yes, you must. Otherwise, that is not hypothesis. Yes, sir. Okay, you have both one hypothesis. Your study says that there is difference. 
then I will say. After testing, we can. So that's what I want to prove. Yes. Technically, prove is sir. Prove this. We should create the situation by ourselves. Researcher should go with some critical assumptions. There is untouchability, sir. That is a fact. But hypothesis, there is no untouchability. See, if I go with there is no untouchability, but there is. So, yes. You go with two options. See, there are assumptions. Because it's a fact. If it is not a fact, you can go. But if it is fact, means you have to prove. If this is not true, ultimately, either of one. But you should have that feeling. You know, they know that. The such a lady. One more bottom of care. Why? You have to question. You have to question the myths of the policies, programs, or you have to question why. Why is this? Research is questioning them. Not only to do it, however, work should have negative. You are serious, you are serious, Hindi, Marathi, Serious, Kanda, Every day, Soap of Era. How they run for 1,000 shows, 2,000 shows, and what? Just for one more difference, negative. He is about to take a tally. They will make him get to enter with the show at one leg. Start. So what do you think? Oh, one more cat entered Syria. <coughs> then flashback of 10 to 20 episodes. <laughs> Similarly, don't have too much negative thinking. Negative means researchers should have the feeling. You cannot go with positive attitude. It's not a fact. If you go with like a cinema, that's why people watch cinema three hours. And within three hours, end comes. Namaste. But serial doesn't end there. Years together, one series is 10 years. People die in the serial. They recreate the heroes, heroines. All happens just because of what they do. The similar thinking should be there because negative means you are questioning. The question brings some data for you to understand the thesis. So those things will come from two sources research. That is, how we collect data. You have to collect data for your objectives. Because I am not going to get objectives so to tell somebody must have it. So I think, right in research, we have sources of data. What are sources of data? I think your topic, uh, I think you, your research needs to be clear. The objectives are very clear objectives. Very clear set objectives. So we have one. Second. You have heard the word FIR? Police station is there. The FIR. First information report. Why the police FIR? You know, there is a FIR here. Sir, sir, sir. Panchana, my brother, 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 my brother. What is FIR? First information report. Why do you FIR? In body accident of the home, license, insurance claim model of the home, FIR and the doctor's office. FIR and the doctor's office. You go to the spot. The policeman comes to the spot where the accident took place. He comes and measures, inspects the area. 
and based on the inspection, he prepares a report. That is, he gets information on hand. Going to the field, seeing the situation, observe the situation, then reports it as a report. There's a pakka report, if you submit to the insurance company, you get your money back. Otherwise, no. Similarly, people are not going to be able to do it. Oh, that's right. 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 There's an institute in Bangalore. They have a team of work. Christian institute in there. Yes, that's right. It's quite interesting. Only the training for the Christian people. Nurses, no? Ah, yes. Only 45 minutes I thought. The lecture started at 9 o'clock, they started at 49, 45. Exactly. So they would stop. And if they are looking for a lecture, then I would go like that. Stop. Sir, here there is a practice section. Every 45 minutes you should take a break. You don't have to stretch your hands like this, do like this, legs like this. Five minutes please. Again, 11 30 is one more break out for 15 minutes. I give four breaks in three hours like this. That means you have to ask, they asked him. That's why she asked, sir, you have not asked us. It is break out. Breaks are very difficult, you have to refresh your mind. Research. If you want to be an empirical researcher, you must go to the field. Now there is a trend now for going to fields. Why? There is a modern trend is emerging. Students want to go to fields. Researchers should go to field. Why? You know, chart out. Or to get this. Here is the chart out. If you see the information, report it. This is written also. In St. Joseph College, Bangalore, all the students Use the reports, dissertations, using charcoal. Artificial business. Same reports are emerging. They are shocked at the teachers. They are sending students to field. Go to slum. Go to a village. Go to a young world. Go to a school. Tell me later. Otherwise, if you Use chart part. I have referred in the research. If you use some one thousand words, this is all such. So now the trend is now modern trend to go to field. Otherwise, you develop general data sitting here with your mobile. It's good to generate, but you don't learn anything. You don't learn. You don't learn concepts. Understand the depth of the problem. Similarly, what they do in the fair, researchers <coughs> must go to the field to collect the necessary information for the data. That we call the primary sources. Pratamika, the Thamsha, the primary source, Pratamika. That is through observation. You go and participate, you go and observe, you go and involve yourself. You can have group discussion, so many things you do to connect the data which is very like a paka from the stakeholders. There will be people, there will be school teachers, school heads, factory workers, factory employment, management, so many people. They are all stakeholders of the particular problem. So you want to study their behavior, their attitudes, their awareness, their perceptions, their views, their working work, this is from. So that we say the primary. You go to a particular person, particular individual, particular group, particular community, particular region, particular area, to collect the necessary information that you want for your research. That we call empirical research. 
That's why the title should have that imperative component. So when you write your methodology, you write about your respondents. Who are your respondents? That's why I asked you. Who are your respondents? Whether the ministers, whether the political leaders, whether the common man, or street members, anybody can give one comment. You can go with a mic and ask anybody in the world. You want separate state for Kalyanan. Anyway, can react. It's not a serious problem altogether. It's more of an emotional. That's how Kalyanan created a lot of answers. More of an emotional. Fights were there, killings were there. It's not easy. As you do research. So when you rake up the problem, so there will be further rake ups in different parts of the government for a good Then there is a unity over what they were saying. You may bring a student of political science as an appreciative issue. It's better to have two states, two districts, small districts to work better than that. But for people, Like uh, the last Ayurveda is there. And then you lose Kannada, Bangalore is an IT city. Chops will be given to all the characters around, but not to the correct Kannada. Because you guys are still good. So these kind of feelings are there. So you want to capture those emotional feelings, attitudes, the perceptual views about you and the problem. That is the primary source. And your secondary data, secondary sources. The more of available books and documents, articles, newspaper papers, so many things. But they talk about past, already happened. The book is written after something has happened. The report is given to the government after. We separate the report after everything. So that becomes a, a source for a further research. If everybody wants to do the entire system to come to even a photo report, it's already done. But a primary source, you know, go collect live collection, say live. Go to a village, talk to a village, yeah, about the irrigation problem, about the safety problem, the school problem, health problem, so many things. What you call horse mouth. Getting information from the horse mouth. It's thrilling experience but then just reading some report. It's all in I am not neglecting certain resources, but research has these two major components primary source and secondary source. Economics people do more on secondary sources. There are so many reports on data, statistics, more statistics. They play with numbers. The empirical people play with words. Statistics. NSS report, this report, same way, so many reports are there. It's numbers, first of all. But we empirical people, poor people, play with words, talking to. There's a lot of difference between words and numbers. Numbers also speak. What is also speak, but what is authenticity is the most important. What is the objectivity? There are two words, subjectivity. Research uh, science wants to be always objective, whether it's secondary or final. Why do you pass objectivity? It's qualitative in Qualitative, subjective, and such is very I say you are the observer. Topic is full of subjective. Bias means subjective. Bias means subjective in nature. Bias. Michael is there. Bias. 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 Why? Purposefully we do. Right. What is your problem? This is problem? Fiscal consolidation in Indian states. What's the economics, sir? No bias. No fiscal expert in our government. We have biases. 
when when it becomes biases. It may be biased from your studies, provided you give scope for that, for instance. You select your own village, select your own state. You may select only in Maharashtra, you don't select in Darwar. Right? People say subjectivity is there. This is subjectivity, pros and cons. It must be from this part of the country. For example, don't take the people from the Bengals. There are a lot of bias in this subject. Some student asked me in the team break why you should have alternate hypothesis. If you go with only the reason, there is biasness. You don't think otherwise also. Alternately, you don't think at all. Yes, it is there, 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 but no scope for it. So in any uh, seminars when I said uh, they catch this why you why is that I said state studying from Vaisa State. They subject to you. You are selected, you are Vaisa, Riya guy, you are selected. Why? Why not select Karnataka? This is your language problem, sir. Financial <coughs> problem, sir. There are uh, uh, defense uh, time problems, sir, language problems. More of language. You need an interpreter, which is a very costly affair. Many people have done, but some people have done Karnataka also. And this is my first one to this side. She did in Bangalore. She started to interview with people. She took some assistance. In Bangalore, no problem, they speak English. Anybody, any language they speak. But if you go to English, no chance. So there is, will be some biasness in your research. We cannot wipe it out. But generally they accept this object. At least in your findings, policy suggestions, or in making some statements. The statement should not be biased. Nanda Parvarila, Veda Parvarita. It's not for my sake, it's for others' sake. That is objective. If it is for my sake, it's subjective. My sake is PhD. For others' sake, it's different. Knowledge, you share knowledge, all those things. <coughs> so, in research, you must have these two, which emerges from these two sources, primary and secondary. So, when you analyze data, interpret data, explain data, you are bound to face these two. Objectivity. Try to be more objective than subjective. Learn a little bit more about that. Don't be too selfish. Be selfish, nothing wrong with being selfish. But say it and see that others also enjoy the benefits of what you have. So, I'm going to tell you that I concentrate more on this primary thing. So, what are the tools of primary data collection? Third is you observe. 
what's going on with this? You will observe and record in what is what goes on. So for this group discussion, for issue like sanitation, water, problem, it's better to have group discussion than individual. Because sanitation affects the entire group community in Malaysia. So you have to distinguish your people and you interview a person, what is it you are going to get out of the person? And then you have to do it. And questionnaire. Why you need questionnaire? Anybody has done already questionnaire? So not to forget what, what we need to do. You can also get by the interviewing. By interview also you can get done. Huh? Why you get the interview questionnaire? What is the purpose of questionnaire? The question will be prepared on the basis of the objectives you are going to Please practice it, Mike, Mike. Question here, I don't like it in that. I can speak loudly, sir. Question here is itself prepared on the basis of the objectives what we want to study in our research. So, uh, we can't ask the questions which are unnecessary to the study. So if you have a proper uh, question list, then only we can collect the information according to the objectives of the study. But why you want questionnaire for that? Hmm. To collect the data. Sir. To Sorry, what type of data you collect? Primary data. Hmm? Primary data. Sir, we need to collect from the mass or the journey. No, data can be from any sources. What is the purpose behind collecting data through question? Sir, if the... Uh, what is the impact? To know the ground reality. To know the ground reality. To know the ground reality of that problem. Okay. Observation of the... No, you don't observe it. Okay. What is right? She, is, she wants to react, the own reality. First hand information. So if we have mass to collect data, if we have more people to collect data, it is better to go with first hand rather than the interview or observation. Yes, ma'am. Checklist, sir. If you want to have more, want to call more people, it's better to go with the question than just uh, interview. Sample size. You collect sample 150, 20, 30, 40. You need a sample. One is to get the ground reality, the second is to get the, the span of span. Third most important is the huh? something such. You try to collect prime data because it's more authentic. Come from the osmos. You can rely on the data that you collected from the individual, from the group, from the community because they speak for themselves. If the untouchability is there in the village, they speak for themselves what they want to follow. It's more authentic, reliable. If you rely when you tell the world outside, there is untouchability. Say, who told you? Yes, I interviewed 50 people in the village. I had group discussion, I had question, I had interview. They all said that there is untouchability. That's the source. What is the source he has? The source. the source is more authentic and reliable. Your statements can rely on the data you collected from the field. What is ground reality? Either you have a sample, from the sample, get the required information, which is more authentic. You can confidently speak in the public that there is untouchability in the field. Nobody can question you. If somebody questions you, you put the data. Injured 100 people or 100 says 99 yes, one says no. Hello. Correct. One is the reality, 
The second is your sample, which is a source for you. The third information is authentic to the others. It can be both qualitative and also quantitative. When you put on table, it is more quantitative. But if you explain the table, it becomes more qualitative. Generally, students say what to do with the table. They put the table, out of 100, 80 says yes, 20 says no. The explanation is, from the above table, what we arrive is that 80% say yes, 20% say no. Table closed. You only explain both yes and no. That is qualitative. What 80, 20 is more a quantity, numbers, m per percent to per percent. Yes, so what? <coughs> but as a researcher, since you have gone to it, you have talked to people, you have got information, you must be able to explain that yes and no, which more often students do. They leave it to the guide and the examiners. Sir, you explain yourself. <laughs> experience. I have 10 students in it. I have experience with them. You have to guide. Kilapa, Bari, what is yes? Right. You write the views, perceptions, feelings. You write that. Make your table at least one page. Top table below explanation. <coughs> but in the page there will be two, three tables. Only yes, sir. Two no sentences. Don't do that. They want real such a you must utilize the empirical data collected from the field to explain this one sector. Then only your research, otherwise you will be just a research. Develop the data, prepare a table, explain the results. So there the role of guide matters. It's not a mass, a travel, explain what it is. Untouchable to the end. Why this is still the same? Why 20 says it is there? All 100 do not say yes. There will be one that says no, but you have chat that no part. Intentionally, data are possible. Yes, no. There are two types of questionnaires. Open-ended closed. Mike, the Open ended closed. Okay, what is that open? Closed ended we have multiple choice assignment questions. So open ended we have descriptive type we expect descriptive type answers. What is this? It's a closed ended closed. Closed ended. Why it is closed ended? There is no We have get either yes or no, not further information. If you want to make it open ended? We have to, oh, what do you feel about untouchability, suppose we ask? Right. Yes is closed, yes sir is closed, because the answer is closed. I used to give a very lighter example. Anybody is married here? <laughs> Just a lighter, you don't do. So, the question is like that. For a closed ended question, I will ask a question to you. Who is the mic? Are you married? Yes. So that is closed. Are you closed for her? No. It's a closed, it's married. But the next question I will ask you is a bit tricky question. So you may say yes or no, that's the different issue. I will ask this question, next question. Are you satisfied with your marriage? Optional or descriptive or? No, no, your answer should be <laughs> Okay. Yes, sir. Or maybe uh, marks, scaling. Don't take it personal. No. <laughs> just a lighter way, just to make the environment a little lighter. If you say no, Pandora box for researchers. Mm. So many options will emerge. Mm. Why you are not happy? Mm. Why you not happy with your husband? Why you not happy with your father-in-law? 
word is that you know, there are so many things to come, but I said sub questions. It is more of open ended. Close is managed, whether it goes on. Happy or not, hardly bothers. Public, yes. But next question, if you say yes, no problem. <laughs> I can develop two, three questions to tell me how you are happy, how is this. But if you say no, it opens the of box to research. One of our students in I said, working couple in Chennai, in the world bank, how the field from the 30 couples in Chennai, 80 couples were not happy in the relationship. So, one of the So, we write to the three pieces. If it is yes, difficult. We cannot let it happen. There is no scope to move further. So, my advice here is that if you prepare a question, don't go for only closed questions. Run away from the hazard of current data. We have seen many hazards. Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. What do you do, yes, sir? There's one more is that. Don't know. Do not know. Yeah, one more one. Yes, no, then burn. In one of our projects in Bangalore, 80% they said do not know. No scope for writing anything. They don't know. we insisted the investigators to ask further why they don't Is it because of lack of awareness? Lack of publicity of the program? So many questions, they have not put the soft questions. That's why the empirical research, not just questions, sub questions matters a lot. Because you have objectives, the objective needs more data. You have to rely on the question, if you rely on the questionnaire, the questionnaire should be able to give data. He recently we completed the survey, the 40 panchayas in Karnataka. We had to grab panchayas for 100 page questionnaire. <coughs> About 100 pages. 100 page questions. Two people sitting four or five days in the ground bench and data. More of information, less surface sudden. Yes, sir, no is only for that background. But when it comes to actual data collection, the data is a question three or four parts. One is the personal background, the age, sex, all those things collect. That is everybody can tell. But what it is for your objectivity, there should have more of sub questions. Scope for open ended questions, she said. Then you migrate, why you migrate? What for you migrate? So these questions give sub questions, that means you would be happy to get more information than just a no. Particularly, if you go to a village, people have no patience to listen to your question. You walk there for a You have to stop them. When you used to do work, you used to work 6 o'clock in the morning. Evening, you used to go. Probably in the evening, while you will be busy. Evening. So, morning is a good time to go to You have to make them sit, listen to your stories. So, other clue of things are in there. Don't jump onto your question straight away. So talking to a farmer, don't talk to your question, sir, Puni, sir, you will not, sir, among sir, all the people of the First, where you should open the thing. How is your village? How are you getting drinks? How is your politics in the village? Is there a cost problem? General questions. Then you will become a little comfortable. Then move your mouth, your mouth. Suddenly, if you jump with your ball, they will kick it out. <laughs> They don't have time to listen to So I fix up the sales. Go to the field, stand with them. I have spent like that. I have spoken with their singer, drank coffee, tea, in huts, all those things. Like that. that means you have to develop confidence in him that you have come for some specific purpose, not for any giant mode. So we need confidence of people when we nowadays they don't have confidence. They just sit there. Especially male, if you go to talk to women, they say, oh, 
So people come, collect data. What is that we are getting out of? What benefit we get? We are talking to half an hour. So many people ask us. We have no questions. Very tough time. Our experience is different. So we have to do so many samadhan and tala. So this uh, yes or no is very careful. So uh, my suggestion is to go for more open-ended questions than closed-ended. The closed-ended will not give hardly any data, but open-ended gives zoom. And all questionnaires should be confined to objectives. Don't waste your questionnaires. Maximum should be 20 pages, 50, 20 pages. Don't go for 30, 40, 50. You cannot collect. Open it to collect. Yes, sir, no, you can collect 50. But for open it, maximum is 15 to 20 pages. Focus, well focused, simple language, either English or Kannada or Marathi, should be very simple. Because you are Mr. You are Mr. Question. You don't give them, because they don't know. Right? That is the crux of question. The second is interview. This is a very tricky. Interview method as a don't have question of interview always. It's called checklist. You have ten points to be discussed. So they are not questions. So the interview method is a very tricky method because it depends on who you are going to interview. Is it a farmer? Is it a common man? Is it an officer? Is it a politician? Is it a minister? Like that, like that, like that. So your mind should work out, I am going to talk to a common man. And his capacity to answer your questions. I am going to talk to a minister. His capacity is to ask your questions. So you have to always think about the opponent, not about yourself. For example, if you go to a minister, minister for education, what will you ask minister for education? If you are interviewing minister for Cannot ask the numbers with you. Sir, what is the percentage sir, you are getting in from SS? He will say, go to my secretary. Sir, you have no capacity. The question should be, sir, after you become Minister of Education, the percentage has gone up, sir. You become very happy. Mm -hmm. oh, you are crazy. Oh, it's gone, sir. Last year it was 50%, 75%. Now there is a lot of death and a lot of Let me explain. It gets happy to know that during his period, it has gone up, gone up. You are praising him. Then you explain the efforts made for that. Then the trick is that you should ask the macro level type of questions, policy based type of questions, not empirical type of questions here. Empirical type of foreign questionnaires. But in interview, you have to be extra smart with the person who went to I interviewed a joint secretary of BBMP in Bangalore for our study in Bangalore City Corporation. So I went to the office. So he was not allowed for away. Then I sent my card. So after that, some 10 minutes, he called me. So, so before that, I spoke to that one man sitting in chair. Open the door, close the door. What did pass? Not watchman, <laughs> attender. With attender, I asked someone of the questions about young green officer. So I would to stick to sir. He was a young officer. He was a stick to sir. He was an interpreter. He just said, he's a very strict officer. We don't know whether you interview or not. And he said, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So I entered his office. Young officer, just past IAS. Uh, I just introduced, he did not bother to me also. Yes, yes, yes. He said, 
I am just repeating this. I have just five minutes for you. This is our set. You must be wondering what will happen in my mind. I have 15 questions to ask you for five minutes. I have five minutes, Professor. If you want to, just take it. And then I change my style of asking. As this sort of minister, sir, I came to know this now outside. After you became officer in Joint Commissioner, the office atmosphere changed totally. Yes, Professor, there are a lot of problems for him. He started. Five minutes gone, mm -hmm. ten minutes gone. Mm -hmm. He was explaining all those things. In between, I have no spoke to ask. I was so happy to come to know that after he came to that office, mm -hmm. there is some system is emerging. People coming in right time, 10 o'clock, delivered 5 o'clock. That means he will discipline the third after his day. That was the strategy. <coughs> then he asked, I think you want to ask something from me. <laughs> yes, sir. No problem, sir. No, no, you can go ahead. You said five minutes. No problem, go ahead. <laughs> so I collected, you will not believe, we had two times coffee, spent almost one hour. Where is five minutes? <laughs> I am not boosting myself. It's this problem. You know, tend to face problems. So you have to be extra careful before you go into a person, minister, officials. You should know the questions that you focused. No numbers. Don't ask them percentages. General. That is interview techniques. Oh, interval, but no, what is the interview? Team interviews, they have prepared so much. They would have collected all the personal background. He can with Ramesh watch. He can with Ramesh. You have done research for almost one month about the Jaduna. To put them in comforts to answer. After I know what of Kaila. But our question should be very simple and focused on which you can comment about a macro picture, not at the micro level. Micro level is already the question. But macro picture, state level, national level, very respect. About policies, progress. So that is our entry method we have. The third one is participant observation, which we do uh, in the panchayat research. We go to Gram Sabhas, general body meetings, now circle groups are emerging, you can go and observe how they function. You don't participate in the sense, you don't comment, you observe. You're sitting and observe. That gives more data about that particular activity. The depthness will be there. You will know how grammar Sabha is conducted, how they pass questions, what information is shared, all you can Nowadays you are mobile, nowadays pen and notebook are very, very important. You should always get the points, otherwise you forget. I don't see that now, here. More of listening, less of writing. You should write points. Anyway, that's a different question. So that's what I was saying. That is, I feel like this is very important. There, very focused on discussions. You are not happy with the interim method. You have some data, but you want to know more about the community. In interim method, question method, you speak individuals, perceptions. But same issue, you want to have a general discussion. Your focus, your issues are focused very bring different groups of people. From SCST, from OBC, women, children, all with their 15 to 20 members, they need to put across with this. How is your panchay functioning? Panchay is helpful to your mouth. Is there a problem of drinking water, sanitation, housing, all those things matter. So here people give general. We had a very funny incident of Christian Kola Babu also about untouchability. We interviewed a Gram Panchayat member in a group discussion. It's only our untouchable. There she said, she is the president of the Gram Panchayat. Sir, in our village, there is no untouchable. 
all are one. This is all are one. Group discussion. No problem, sir. There has been gold group, hello, no case. We are not happy with it. Group discussion. Sir, the mic is always. So we are not so comfortable with that, ladies, because we give this very similar touch. So next day morning we went to a house around 7 o'clock. Morning 7 o'clock we went. She gave tea, everything. After discussion, we brought this question that Madam, yesterday you said uh, there is no untouchability, we are so happy to know that you didn't. Yeah, illa sir, no sir, because I tell in that group, elders are always sitting there, people are there, I didn't want to put myself in a, there is sir, I myself is facing. So this we call, we think that the cross check me. Cross-checking of information that you collected. You need to cross-check because they are individual perceptions. Anger ladies are killer. Out of anger, they were told about a person, neighbor. That lady, sir, you she is very powerful lady. Anger. But same thing, they may not accurate to bring them together. Yes, sir, we are friends, sir, big friends. We have a sama together. But individually they may be different. Similarly, what happens in general, there is more subjectivity in what they take in mm -hmm. particular issue. That you have to cross check the So, cross checking is very, that is, you become more authentic in getting the data. cross check. While in your table, you need some 60, say, 40, no. You cross check with the 40, you say, no. They will give the real data. No. They are very good. No should be captured. Yes should not bother. Out of ten, eight says yes, two says no. For me, two becomes important, not eight. Because the two gives a lot of data about yes. That fellow, sir, he told like that. He chamcha See, this how we change this individually. So if you cross-check before you leave the village, leave the field, you have to, if you are very particular about particular observations made by the individuals, you must cross-check. Sir, you still have time to do this. Where is time, sir, to do all this work and research? Because you are an independent person, you are the only person to go to the field. You come across all this. Problems. Because we have faced this, that's what I am putting across. Experience only, I am not telling anything about a book. Book is easily available. But experience speaks. So we have faced, we are chased out from the village. In a questionnaire, there is one uh, item you ask generally. Never ask this. Wealth. I don't ask jewelry. Jewelry, yes. jewelry, ornaments. When you ask income, personal income, you ask. In one of our questionnaire, in irrigation studies, some irrigation people, one awesome district where farmer with Deva would have. So in this village, which is a neighbor village, we went to, I went with my friend with a bike, motorbike. No, no transport, bike we went. The Rajput uh, on the way got problem. We walked village of 5 kilometers. These village are at 5 30. Evening, not morning. So we were, uh, nobody was available. People are going to feel this. We were sitting in here, uh, the pool in a Goda, headman. There's a chopper was there, sitting there. We were talking, just like that. It's one of the people. I like this jewelry part. That lady was watching us from inside, near the door. <coughs> they were not come out. She heard this jewelry. 
I don't know how she has spread it across the village. <laughs> Some people have come they are asking about jewelry, gold. gold. <coughs> My goodness, by 8 o'clock, so some 100 people came into that. Who are the people asking about gold? Sir, no, 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 there's a question we are telling you. Gaudi has told you. We have problems. Then we said, sir, we will explain our questionnaire to you. So there are more than 100 people. They will crush us also. They're scared. We're also almost heart beating started. <laughs> So he requested that uh, panchayat member of there. <coughs> Sir, you assemble all people, go to, we will tell about the questionnaire. We collected to collect data, yield rate of the penny per acre. Why you are asking this jewel? And personally, why you want income? Income part. Very uh, delicate question, income part. That's why people don't question. They put sheep, tractors, car, they put, they collect and do something. Not direct, they will never see it. So, they said, sir, you bring a letter from Devagoda. Devagoda was a public health minister those days. Very good, Devagoda to collect it from the village. They were scared. They said, no, we will not do it. Nine o'clock, madam, no food, nothing. We do not drink, talk, pitch, dark. So, all left, nine o'clock, we will not do it. We will not do it. You bring it right from the way over He said, What you have to run away from the situation? What you will bring that of it? Then he asked the person, Sir, why they are related to your data on this part? Sir, recently there was a hill, there is a hill there in the village. That was survey was done by this gold. Survey of India is there. They did a survey. They found gold products there. Gold. Hmm. Some three years back, I think. They thought that these people have come, correct from each household, the gold component, whether people have gold or when they have dug the hill or collected something, they mistook us. That's why I said they refused to be We thought about a vain fellow, grass. Oh, then we start to come. Go for 10 o'clock. Then old lady was sitting there. She was observing all these things, almost 70 old. For Muta Madhya Nagato, come, she gave Ragi Ball, but Kara Sambar, no spread, no rice. Then Ragi Ball, Kara Sambar. He ate and left. And by the time the bike was ready, he ran away from the village, never went back. <laughs> he cannot go to Devagoda, he will give you the question. So the lesson is that. Don't ask too sensitive questions. Nowadays, too difficult nowadays. It is your Dharma Shastra, Sanata Dharma, Dharma, Hindu, Dharma, Hindu, Nowadays, it's very difficult to get If they are sensitive in each other. My student does want to write an article in PW on Ayodhya. He writes very strongly against Ayodhya. He was one. In the system. He's a radical fellow, my like last student. He writes in the field. The word by the other is not to write such a thing. I say, sir, I say. They are too sensitive. People may come attack you, hit you. So, the question there, or interview, how are these sensitive questions? Now, you know. You want some data? That's all. What about their income, their product? Some income they assess now. How many sheep are there? How many trucks are there? How many scooters are there? How many innovative space come? Mobile has come? TV has come? Process their income levels. How many level income levels? So it's very matters because in cross-checking all these things because if they are sensitive in nature, you need to cross-check. If they are sensitive issues, so you have to be extra careful. If you go to field, when you go into field talking to people, so you have to be extra careful in putting your questions across. It matters a lot. So now in Kutirendra, you don't go for such questions. We want question information for objectives, collect mainly in the place. Otherwise, you will be thrown out. 
sensitive questions. So this is one which can be clear through focal discussions. That means majorly we talk about questionnaire, which should be more open-ended, introduce more of macro issues, prospect observation, you observe and record, and focus group, you cross-check what are we can collect from all the three sources. So that's why I suggest students, advise students, after the field work in the day, end of the day, you must cross-check your notes. Question is, me and Bob used to come to the table, when the team finishes the work, people we used to come to the place and go through the questions. Because there is a tendency of leaving the questions. questions. If they are tough, they leave, yes. So in winter, you talking to them, you get bored. You simply put yes, yes and come. Go on. People do research in the tree, they say, under the tree. They don't go to field, they tell yes and come. Easy to put yes or no. And writing cannot follow the writing. So you have, if you are a researcher, survey research, we used to go to see cross check and we used to resend them to go to the Go back and collect it. It's not the problem. These are all problem, problems of interview research. Where you have information, but you are not very sure of information because of lack of confidence, lack of uh, cross checking, or all this because centric research gives you some reliability. And more importantly, this can be replicated. What had happened in your village or in your state might happen in the current, might happen in the other village. Because data based, the more of data based, so subject, no subject, less of subjectivity, there is more of replicability. Why? Because you cannot generalize. The weakness of data. You cannot generalize for a situation across the globe, across the state, across the region. The interview one individual, you cannot generalize for the so Each individual person varies. You cannot generalize. You say a case study of the other district. Case study of Dara district, case study of Braga, but it cannot apply to the entire state of Bhagavad That means you cannot generalize. Sir, everything is safe, sir, you cannot say. But it is an indicator. It indicates there may be a similar situation in other parts of the street, like untouchable. There may be those untouchable people, but certainly not. It may be, may not be. It may or may not be the very important questions of research. Because you cannot generalize based on your just the case study that you do for a particular sanitation. People say 100 percent for Chivara. Say the private says India is 100 percent. But still 70% are not tigers, not used tigers. That's why our uh, friend, director, with ICS, Bombay University, the Publisher Centre, they did a study, national survey, they found that uh, this, under such a program, 70% are eight utilized tigers. The director was suspended. Because it went against the government's vision of 100%. Though it is a national survey, not one state survey, it is a national survey when Tiger is the government statements. Our Pura Bharat Sachwarth hai, said the Lord. But nice sir, so what are you there? So travel across the village, even though people can with that thing. In Gadak, you see. You have seen, Papa, the students have gone to live with the roses. And the other students went with roses morning. Those who are carrying this chambu pot, this is the rose. 
go to the toilet. <laughs> Not to feel. Because it's a cultural practice. You cannot uh, just uh, remove from the noise. It needs some time. You have to get awareness, see them, they practice. So even then, they have toilets, but they don't use toilets. They use it as a storeroom. We are just studying the Yadgir district here yeah, for one BL factory in Bangalore. They spent four crores on 22 schools by providing uh, uh, mosaic toilets. Mosaic toilets and uh, for midday meal, steel plates, refrigerator, all they give. So I did a benchmark for them, for the company. Then after one year, they asked me to do evaluation, whether they are using it or not. First day, first school event, it was not tired, or not. The teacher says, sir, no key. Prince, at most, I second the key. We were there with her foot. We sat there after the key came. We opened, not used. We have kept some chairs, chair, board chairs, some mosaic. Government spent 30,000, they spent 60,000. Each toilet, none of the schools have used toilets. Their students used to go just for separate for girls, separate for boys. Both used to go outside school, even now. Caregiver can go None of the 22 schools utilize the toilets built by the bell company. Only use of steel plates for me to do. And worst was ESCs. ESC they get refrigerators because a very hot area. So they used to keep medicines. So when you went to the PSC, there was no refrigerator. The attendant told say the doctors take only those bottles. We have a bottle for there, he has a refrigerator to put. We took photo. So we made a presentation to the BL Mangalu. So I have ends for the nurse pass in his study. They spent four crores which the government cannot spend. You have this thing, social responsibility. Corporate social responsibility. They spend 2% of their income on it. They refused to support the farmer. Though we did benchmark, we got meetings, we spoke to people, everything did, but the mindset has not changed. Toilet means works. Their concept is, the toilet should not be part of a house. <laughs> Culturally, should be away from the house. But we in Bangalore, it's still the next is our uh, uh, toilet, next is our uh, stands. So many toilets are in the house, four or five toilets. But in village setup, the toilet should be away from the house. If you go back 30, 40 years back, the old houses, toilets to outside. You must go out at least some 10 feet, but not within the previous of the house within the building of the house. That's a cultural aspect. Because we have a puja mandir inside the house. It is not good to have a toilet within the house where puja mandir is there. So it's difficult to wipe it out. Set the attitude, you can't change it, it takes time. It's going on. Awareness is going on. So in the name of health, hygiene, all this is going on. But mindset is very strong in our Indian culture. Very difficult to change. Takes time. So, so is by number, it is ten percent. But in the following implementation, you are to achieve. The poor man was suspended. He has gone to the So that's the problem. Thank you very much. That means these are things I wanted to highlight and do research. Somebody is doing research can uh, be satisfied because you try to collect data. Go to village, go to a person, collect data, spend your time in village, talking to people, you see the world of this. In internet research. If you are second in data, that's a research, we don't deny that. But we don't enjoy this. In critical, understanding the village. You go on yourself, suffer, struggle, sweat, everything you do to finish your PhD. When you finish your PhD, you become happy. Day you submit, why what takes place, you enjoy it. So, research is a passion, not for hit and run. Don't do hit and run research. It's a passion. It's a second marriage for researchers. 
the main love is also. She loves research. If you are interested, I never wrote the research. People uh, finish PhD and forget it after that. No job problem. So many problems it is not easy. But if you continue, I often say, can't you say research topic? My first case is first my PhD was a franchise in 1881. Still in a franchise version. I have not changed the width of it also. I have not gone to urban also. And durable. It gives some happiness that you have done something. You are recognized also. People will call. Your expertise will go. You develop expertise. Otherwise, you will jump off our master plan. If you go to research here, there is a death. And you run away from research. They won't publish also. Their thesis should publish. Mean the time, you should write. People are scared of it. Right from the newspaper. You know, you have a letter editor, newspapers. You write this. My first writing was that way. You would turn out a bunch. I wrote with all uh, broken English, whatever English I wrote. I am waiting for that uh, publication. She is working almost one month or suddenly on Friday it came. My friends, I said, hey, you are the dress. Ran and so. The joy and happiness was it. Really enjoy. So I did write. Writing is skill. So for that, reading is most important. Without reading, no. The last uh, episode I will tell you and uh, stop it. Then you can ask questions. One of our, I will not name anyone. Is it ever interview? So it's interesting. It's modern technology which you have been told. So one of our guide, Infill guide, Chen, Heather, Infill with him, another guide. He went to interview Lord Mountbatten. You know who is Lord Mountbatten? Yes, don't gamble. Don't gamble. Lord Bond Batten. Last Last. Last Viceroy, General of India. He was doing his PhD, my guide, in Delhi, in JNU. His work is on historical, constitutional history of India. So he got a chance to interview in London. So happy you know, after the independence in 1952, he went to interview Lord Mount Petrol in London. Time was not there. They are very British people, are very disciplined. The English women should be there. They were running or car anything. So they went there with all the wrestlers. So he threw him. He said, talk, talk, what? So he was so happy that he uh, came back to the hotel with the state. He started smoking, relaxed, removed it. He threw his coat, and everything, relaxed, smoking, you know. He switched on the tape record. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what will you imagine? He forgot to ask him. Huh? He forgot to record it. See, you forgot to switch on it when you are interviewing. The grrrr sound was bad. Technology. Technology, you have to be extra careful. You forgot, you cannot go back to Lord Mountbatten. Who will go? Who will not be back to see you? Over. He has returned this evening flight to Delhi. He cried. Everything did. He changed the topic also. He wrote a different thesis out here. It's no more now. I feel so unhappy, no? so disgruntled, melancholy, over mistake. Because he thought that since it is getting recorded, I did not bother him to take notes. He didn't take notes also. He was there, he didn't write in the world record. In this stream, the word is Vashar, the word is Vashar. But his remembered village, his draft was burnt in his room. His entire draft burnt. 
from the electric shop or something in London, Oxford. He wrote by remembering the data field. It's called Remembered Village. It's a classic book in the language before the eminent great socialist anthropologist. Mysore village, Ramapura village today. With that script draft was burnt, not a, only dust was there. So he wrote that book by remembering what I went to law is the anthropo study, where he lived one year. Yes, sir. One year in the village. Learned everything. He conducted participant observation. He lived with them for one year. Yeah, that is uh, anthropology study. Where you stay there, there is more quality research. You can read one more book, Three by Silence. If you want to be a real researcher, Three Silence. English book is there. Here, a researcher goes to a tribal setup in the American somewhere. He stays for four years. He also marries. He married a tribal woman. He got children. Irwan Fleming. Three silence. Irwan Fleming. He was called. Now it's Irwan Fleming. Irwan Fleming. I R V W I N. F L G M N P. Irwan Fleming. Three silence. The tribal anthropology stayed four years in that village. The researcher, not the uh, filming. The researcher stayed in four years in that village, tribal village. He marries a tribal girl, have children, she lives there. That is the anthropology study. Highly qualified. He experiences everything about tribal life, tribal culture, tribal practices. He becomes a tribal man there. There is also research, wonderful research. That is the anthropology studies, where you more you said, stay there, participate there, practice there. So that's the kind of research. There are different types of research. Something about this she is be trying to tell you? Yes, sir. <laughs> Holding your hand. Yes. You are sharing something, giving some chocolates. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cold. Yes, sir. Cold. Yes, sir. Cold. Yes, sir. Cold. Cold. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, at least one hour. I was observing they are doing something. It's very good. Typically, girls start doing exchanging something. They are very angry and very angry. You are very angry and very angry. You are very angry and very angry. You are three important friends for Mahar. We cannot disappoint them by just telling them to come. So I stop here. So I wish you all all the very best in your research. Don't think it like a research. If you want to be a sincere, committed researcher, develop passion about it, you will grow. Sir, I have a question. Yes, yeah, I spoke first. Sir, uh, in that group discussion that lady said that